all helmets are not equal. And we want to provide an independent way for consumers to see which helmets perform better than others. In football, when a player has a head impact, the helmet's impacted, the skull's impacted, and the acceleration moves the skull, and the brain from its inertial mass lags behind. That lag causes concussion. The ongoing question is how much is too much? Everybody gets hit in the head. But what we need to understand is what's the threshold when there's a long-term risk. This is where we test helmets to try to give consumers a better idea of which helmets reduce their risk of concussions. In the mid-2000s, we got a call from our equipment group asking which helmet to buy. We basically found there was no information publicly available. Over the next 12 years, we collected almost 2 million data points, every single head impact and practicing games. We took all that data and we mapped it to a laboratory experiment. In the lab, we buy a helmet, we test it 120 different times, we test at five different energy levels. So one foot, two, three, four, five foot drops. And we test it four different directions. Front, side, back, and top. What we found in our testing is that the difference in these helmets is dramatic. Some helmets do a much better job at reducing head acceleration than others. We found that switching from a one-star to a five-star helmet reduces your concussion risk in half. For the same impact, a one-star helmet will give you 150 Gs, 150 times acceleration of gravity. If you switch out a five-star helmet, you can cut that in half to 75 Gs. The one-star helmets are smaller, with generally one type of padding. The five-star helmets are larger, with more complex and thicker padding structures. first came out with the star system, some companies didn't agree with our methodology. Now basically you have every manufacturer making five star helmets because consumers understand the difference. Every sport there's a risk of injury. You just have to do the best you can to reduce that risk. Helmets are not going to solve anything. You have to understand that. But the difference between the worst and the best is dramatic. And so we want you to know, if you're a parent, we want your kid to know that they're playing the best equipment possible.